What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Friday, June 9th edition of the Bet Pro video. I am your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And we have a bunch of baseball games to find prop bets from in addition to game four of the NBA Finals between the Miami Heat and the Denver Nuggets. So no shortage of things to talk about in this video. We're going to walk through the Bet Pro model for both MLB and NBA, finding some of the best bets in both sports. If you're not already familiar with this model, it is a projections-based prop betting model. So it uses our MLB and NBA DFS projections and applies them to sports betting, comparing them to the lines that are available at a variety of books. This allows us to quickly find the best places to get our money down, whether that is sorting by a specific book that you're looking to bet on, or whether it is trying to just find the best spots to bet across a variety of books if you have a bankroll on a bunch of different sites. No matter what you're trying to do, it should help you make some more money and make that money more efficiently as well. Now, starting with the MLB side, we're going to start on BetMGM. We have Tyler Glass now tonight in a very difficult matchup against the Texas Rangers in Tampa Bay. We are going under 7.5 total strikeouts at minus 105. Glass now is an excellent strikeout pitcher when he's healthy, and at the moment, he does appear to be healthy. But when you're facing a team like Texas, not only is it you know, a, a – relatively tough strikeout matchup, but it's just also a team that does a lot of damage. And so as good as glass now is, there is still some elevated risk that he doesn't get as deep into this game as he would against worse teams. Texas uh, at their active roster this year against right-handed pitching has struck out 23.4% of the time, which is pretty much average. They also have a 120 WRC plus. So they do make life difficult for opposing pitchers. Now moving on to Caesars, Tyler Glass now again at the top. Here, the line is minus 108. So if you have the choice, take it on BetMGM. Logan Allen is next. We're going over four and a half total strikeouts tonight in a tough spot against the Houston Astros. Uh, he is minus 128. Projects for six strikeouts. We are not expecting Jordan Alvarez to be in the lineup for Houston after he left yesterday with an oblique injury. So it's still a very good lineup, but not as good. And Allen has been very solid so far in his rookie season, striking out about 24% of hitters. Again, dangerous matchup, but a pretty low four and a half uh, total strikeout line. We're taking the over there on Caesars. Now on DraftKings, Tyler Glass now again at the top at minus 105. Next, we have Ben Lively over four and a half strikeouts tonight against the Cardinals at plus 110. Lively is a bit of a question mark. We still don't have a lot of data on him. He spent the last few seasons pitching in the KBO. He's been very good so far for the Reds. Now, that's not likely to continue. Most projection models have him dropping off quite a bit. It is likely that he drops off, but the strikeout stuff has been there, and this prop is not particularly high. The Cardinals are a difficult team to strike out, only a 20.4% K percentage against right-handed pitching so far this year, but we're getting plus money. He projects for 5.3. It gives us a 54% chance of winning and a 15% expected return. And finally, on FanDuel, the best odds that we've seen on Tyler Glass now actually getting plus money on the under seven and a half plus one Oh two. So if you have a bankroll on all of these books, take glass now on FanDuel. If not, you know, obviously still a good bet on any of the other books. Uh, Logan Allen is next. We already talked about him. Third, we have Luis Castillo under six and a half total strikeouts at plus plus one twenty two tonight against the angels it is a pretty solid strikeout spot. Castillo is one of the better pitchers in baseball. He has about a 29% K percentage this year, 3.27 X FIP. Very, very, very good pitcher but he projects for 6.3 strikeouts here. It is a negative park shift going into Anaheim, so there is a little bit more risk that the Angels get to Castillo and knock him out earlier than usual. Uh, we expect to win this wager about 51% of the time, but because it's plus money, we do have a 13% expected return. Now to recap, starting on Bet MGM, we're going Tyler Glass now under 7.5 total strikeouts at minus 105. On Caesars, Logan Allen over 4.5 total strikeouts at minus 128. On DraftKings, Ben Lively, over four and a half total strikeouts at plus 110. And finally, on FanDuel, the best price uh, for Tyler Glass now at plus 102. But if you've already bet that elsewhere um, or just want another prop on FanDuel, Luis Castillo, under six and a half total strikeouts at plus 122. Now we are going to switch over to the NBA side. But first, we are offering access to this, tr to this tool for 75% off your first month. That's $24.95 for one month of the Bet Pro model. 
less than a dollar a day. You get access to MLB and NBA. So obviously, the sooner you sign up, the more valuable it's going to be since NBA is going to be over very soon. Uh, Nuggets likely to go up 3-1 tonight. Um, but one way or the other, the NBA won't be around much longer. So the sooner you sign up, the more value you're going to get out of this. But even if, for whatever reason, you have to wait until NBA is over, $24.95 for MLB is still valuable. It should still help you make money, hopefully pay for itself, and we think you'll like it and stick around. So be sure to check this out. Take advantage of the 75% off discount for your first month. Now, moving over to the NBA bets, starting on bet MGM, we have Bruce Brown at the top, over one and a half assists at minus 105. He projects for 2.2, which gives us a 55% chance of winning and a 7% expected return. On Caesars, Nikola Jokic, under one and a half threes at minus 192. He projects for 0.8, which gives us a 67% chance of winning and a 3% expected return. On DraftKings, Aaron Gordon is at the top, under two and a half assists at minus 130. He projects for one and a half tonight, which gives us a 60% chance of winning and a 7% expected return. And finally, on FanDuel, going over to the Miami side with Jimmy Butler, under one and a half threes at minus 210. As good a scorer as he is, we know that not only is Butler not a great three-point shooter in terms of efficiency, he also doesn't take very many of them. So he only projects for half of a three-pointer tonight, which gives us a nice 69% chance of winning and a 2% expected return. So as you can see, not as much meat on the bone for NBA props makes sense since we only have one game to choose from, but there is still some money to be made there in addition to on the MLB side. Um, before we recap, as a reminder, if you haven't already signed up and deposited on any of the books mentioned, check out the pinned comment below this video. Uh, it has links to all of these books, sign up deposit bonuses. Not only are those links going to help you grow your bankroll immediately, but it's going to help you make more money in the long term as well because you can shop lines across a variety of books. You're not restricted to just betting whatever lines a specific book gives you. And while it may not seem super important on a bet to bet basis, over the course of time, it's going to add up. It's going to put more money in your pocket, being able to take the best prices available. Now, to recap NBA, we're going Bruce Brown over one and a half assists at minus 105 on bet MGM. On Caesars, we're going under one and a half threes for Nikola Jokic at minus 192. On DraftKings, under two and a half assists for Aaron Gordon at minus 130. And on FanDuel, under one and a half threes for Jimmy Butler at minus 210. That's all I have for you today. Enjoy tonight's basketball game. Enjoy the baseball games. Enjoy your weekend. Good luck on your bets. And thank you for checking out the video.